Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back to Bare Bones Motorcycles. I am Rich and today we are going to be finishing off the stainless air box for the GS Turbo. Okay, so when we uh, finished last time, we had something which looked a bit like this, with you know the holes and everything all welded in. So these are the intake points for the carbs, and then you've got these big open holes on the end. So today's first job is to fill those holes. We're going to cap them off. To do that, I've started to make some of these. This is just um, a bit of bent stainless plate. It's the same plate I used to make. The, uh, the square section in the last video which the, the intake boots are going on to. Um, so all I've done is trace around the inside, which is what this black mark is here, traced it out when it was flat, I've put it in the vise, bent it, and now I'm slowly shaping it up so that it's be a nice fit inside, and then we'll weld it on, um, get it seated in the bike, and look at making the mounts for it to actually physically attach it to the frame. Right, let's go. Okay, so, it's getting pretty warm in here now. Um, right, we have welded on both the ends and it is all smoothed off really nicely. I'm really pleased with how this has turned up. Um, okay, next job is to put the rubbers back in here, fit it back onto the carbs, and then have some little spurs coming off the back. Just two little sheet bits. I'll probably make it out of this stuff weld them onto the back like that and they will have the, um, the the screw hole positions to use the same bolt holes which the original airbox used so yeah that should be nice and quick and easy to sort that out so we'll do that now okay so we're going to use this tab and this tab here um, to, to, to mount onto to get from the airbox to this. So we're going to have a quick measure just to see how far in we can go. It can be very rough. 
think we're going to be looking at 70 mil. So let's go, let's bring it up to here. We're going to go 85 mil long. 85 mil. So let's have. Uh, Eighty-five mil plus a bit for the curbs. We're going to do hundred mil, right? Hundred mil for the circle, and now let's sort of curve that a bit. Straight line back. line back. Now we could go a bit fancy and flare it a bit but there's no real need. So I'm not going to. We'll do two of them. So something like that. Straight back. Straight back. We'll cut those out, pop some rivet nuts in them, bolt them on and then see how we can bend these to suit this.
Okay, so now this is in there really nice and secure. We've got the two arms which are now bolted to the frame. So the airbox in itself is actually finished. Um, what we need to do now is figure out where the, the pipe work is going to go to get from here to under here. <clears throat> and then once I've got that laid out, I can look at how I'm going to connect the two together. Um, first off, I need to re-clock the, the turbo again because I, I basically this output is now pointing in the wrong direction. So we'll turn that up and then I'll start routing pipes. Okay, so now the the output of the turbo is now pointing straight down. I was going to try and have it coming up so that this pipe, the air feed pipe, could follow the angle of the frame. But it turns out that having the turbo pointing straight down, this nice 90 degree fitting completely goes around the exhaust, misses that nicely, and then this can come, if I put that into there, this can come and just go straight along the engine to about, I'll probably cut it about here, and then, where's it gone? My 45, my 45 will go on there, straight into where I want this to go, which is perfect. So I'm gonna cut that, Where's my pen? I've lost my pen. Cut that about there. God, I didn't need to buy this much pipe. Okay. Right, slice that off and then we'll put it all together. And the next one goes on there. This one mm. on here. Right, and now <coughs> we want to turn you a little. Oh, the rain's coming. We want a piece of pipe to come from out here somewhere, out here onto this. 
But cut that about there. Pen. Right, cut that, I'll be right back. Okay, back with a lovely little piece of tube. Put that in there, on there. Doing a stupid here. Right, that up there. Another Jubilee clip. Okay, so now we've got our sealed air box, which is totally sealed, so useless at the moment. Um, we've got our air supply coming from our turbo, all nicely rooted up under here. So next job is to attach this to that, and then put the pressurized fuel pump on, no, the regulated fuel pump on, which I have on order. So next episode, we'll be doing all of that, and then we'll be firing this thing up and just seeing how it runs you know I, I don't expect it to run fantastically because you know the jets are going to be wrong i know they are but if it fires up with all of this then you know we're, we're halfway there which is it would be really encouraging and really nice to hear um thank you all very much for your continued support i hope you're enjoying what you're seeing and you'll get something out of it um don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Facebook page. I love hearing from you guys on there. I get little little updates of your own projects and stuff. And you know, it's, it's nice to see that other people are trying stuff which I've tried or they're showing me different ways to do things, which is really encouraging. You know, the, the community basis which is building up around this is fantastic. So keep up with that. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It makes my day. Um, don't forget to tune in next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall catch you then. Cheers.